It's your boy T Money with another lit, lit live reaction, man. Today we were reacting to your boy Boozy. If you haven't heard, your boy Boozy, I picked up by the feds after a music video in San Diego, um, where this um somebody was recording them was on had a live stream and recording them and. Apparently, he had the gun on the small of his back, allegedly. Um, so, the, the the feds, they blitzed him, you know what I'm saying? They had the ghetto bird out there and blitzed him leaving from the the music video. So, after they uh, blitzed him for the music video, this is what I believe the reason why he was getting looked at. Because at first, everybody was trying to have allegations of who they thought and why. You know what I'm saying? This is the reason why I believe the feds came for Boozy. And we're going to react to that. So you get pulled over, right? Yeah. Oh, I found the weapon. So this is a Mass Hoffa uh, uh, interview with uh, Boozy. And he literally asked them, we, I'm going to play it, but do you think that uh, Math Math Hoffa is moving Math Federal for asking this question, or do you think that you know what I mean? Because, or do you think that uh, with a lot of these interviews, all these rappers doing a lot of self snitching? Because you know what I'm saying, like I seen on like all the questions that they be asking these rappers on, like Vlad on the Math Hoffa, and all these you know what I'm saying like no jumpers and all these different platforms they asking them these type of questions that's really getting these rappers indicted you know what i mean like they only have two options and the two options either you either dead in, or in jail you know what i mean like the these rappers getting killed off they asking a lot of federal ass questions just real hot like these and this this is what this is the reason right here who yeah. gun is this yeah what happened? You keep it real in that situation too? What you mean if the cops find the weapon? Yeah, if they find a weapon, it's like five of y'all in a whip. It ain't sure. It's, it, it, this shit didn't happen plenty of times. Yeah, my boy it happened. Gonna, my boy's gonna take, take the, say that's his guns when they come to the car. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what they do. And they always, they always pull you had the youngest person in the clique for all the time around you. You know? And I'm gonna tell you what that youngest person and the click is labeled and titled as they the crash test dummy. You know what I mean? Like they they basically gonna throw their way life away. And I get it. You know that you you have somebody that made it out the hood, and they are gonna put the young nigga on the you know saying crash test dummy missions. They gonna make the young nigga do the dumb shit that they not gonna do because they not trying to get lo locked up. And now. Boozy facing 15 years in the feds, all off of two things, in my opinion. Keeping it too real on an interview. Two, having hating ass niggas recording your back. Why, if you doing, if you have a live stream and you trying to show that Boozy's there, one, you in San Diego. A real, you know, say gang infested uh, neighbor ma neighborhood that's already hot. You know they already watching, and you sitting here zooming in to the small of his back, showing that he got a gun in the back of his waistline. Like, come on now. People do that seven, seven different times in the clip. Who's never not convicted? They just so boozy is. So here we got, um, you know. Boozy and the IG Live where also helped get him indicted for the, you know, for the federal charges. We about to see and react to what's going on with that. Damn near irate. So when Boozy gets to the police station, he's finally told, oh, we were already watching you from IG. Mm. Now, he was told they were watching his IG Live and he was also told they were watching another IG Live. See, that's the video. That that's that's the video right there that got him indicted. He's in San Diego in the hood, you know what I'm saying, in the trenches, you know what I mean, with you know saying gang members as a you know, felon, you know what I mean, with a firearm. 
you got the blicky that gets sticky, yeah. You know what I mean? And they supposed to be looking, they supposed to be watching his back. It was his own man, but his man's is literally recording him with the drain on him. You know what I mean? He really, literally recording him with the dog on him. So, that's kind of a, yeah, it's your man's fault for setting, kind of setting you up. But it's also your for your fault because if you know that people was recording on live, why would you, even though you got your back turned, why would you sit there and go on live with your joint on you? You went on live with the dog on you. Which left Boosie incredibly confused as to which IG live was y'all watching? Who was recording me? Well, so he didn't even know that he was being recorded. You know what I mean? And it's always another person that's sitting there going to put you in, in, in danger right now. You know what I mean? Like right now, he's fighting for his life. What R. Kelly said, he's fighting for his life right now. Come to find out, it was Boosie's homie who he invited to the video shoot that was recording him. That's and crazy. here's where things get even more interesting. They were only on live for a couple of minutes. So it's almost impossible to think that... Man, there you have it, man. It's your boy T Money with another lit lit live reaction, man. Uh, first and foremost, I like to say, uh, we want you know Boozy to come home. You know, it, you know he's very entertaining. Uh, but he's got to move smarter. You know what I mean? He's already beat a murder charge. Uh, the feds been watching you. They've been they've been you know picking him up. I have videos about him. Um, literally doing. Having live performances as he's getting arrested over and over again. Them getting pulled over and over and over again, I believe, in Atlanta. So, they've been watching you. They've been on you. They've been on your bumper for real. You know, saying you're supposed to move smart as a high-profiled uh, artist. You know what I mean? Especially as somebody as opinionated as how Boozy is. It's, it's, you know, it's sad to see him go down like that uh possibly facing 15 years uh from the feds the feds is you know what a 98 conviction rate you know what i mean so um for all the youngsters man stay in school man that the life ain't for you man you know what i mean stay in school get a job do it the right way you know what i mean that's why i'm over here doing youtube man support your youtube your boys youtube i want you to hit the like subscribe you know what i'm saying show love show love man it, it's free it's free 99 to show love hit a like you know what i'm saying if you my man's run it up if you my people's and you fuck with the content run it up um, leave in the comments if you think that um, the feds will be getting this conviction. You think, or do you think Boozy going to lawyer up and beat it? Let me know. You know, also seeing that he's uh, s selling, he's trying to sell like a Royce Royce or something. Um, you know, try, probably trying to get it, you know what I'm saying, get his bread up. You know what I'm saying? It's sad because, you know, he got a family. So, you know what I mean? You know, I always know the feds is always watching, man. You know what I mean? Be smart. Keep your head on a swivel before you get hit with your nigga. It's your boy T-Money makes bust with another lit re reaction. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.